Hey, what's up? It's Nathan here with thebtccourse.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can buy Bitcoin without going through the KYC process, the whole know your customer situation where you have to upload your driver's license, maybe social security number, all that type of stuff. You can just buy Bitcoin from another human being and not have to give up your personal information. And we'll be doing it with a tool or a website called RoboSats. But before we get to it, there are a couple prerequisites first. First of all, you do have to have a, a Bitcoin Lightning wallet, and you do need to have some Satoshis in that Lightning wallet. I'll be using Albi in this video, and links in the description down below if you want to use Albi. But you could use Moon Wallet, Blue Wallet, Wallet of Satoshi, whatever, you know, Lightning enabled wallet. And I have some tutorials on that as well if you need to set that up. Also, you will need a Tor browser. You can just go to torbrowser.com, I think it is, or link in the description down below and download the Tor browser. So you need both of those things. What we want to do is in the Tor browser, we'll go to robosats.com. And it does take a couple seconds to load, but no problem. And so here we are, RoboSats, a simple and private Lightning Network peer-to-peer -peer exchange. So we can create a new robot. So that's kind of like your account here. Um, or you could go ahead and recover a robot if you have one to recover. I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. And it'll generate a token for us. And so this is our token. It's kind of like a private key. So you kind of keep this private. Um, and also you would use it to restore your account should you need to restore your account for some reason. And you can generate a new robot each time you do a transaction for maximum privacy. That's perfectly fine as well. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do continue. And it's going to build my robot. So this is like an NFT type of thing. Granted, I'm not going to put it as a Twitter profile or anything. But we got free Bloodlust 584. That's a cool name. Go ahead and continue. All right, so we could go ahead and browse off first or create one from scratch. We're going to go ahead and browse what's available first. And then uh, later on, we'll go ahead and create one. And you'll see that process. So click into offers here. And so. Basically, this website is like a, a, a bazaar, maybe. Uh, there's like people actively live on here being like, hey, I'll sell you some Bitcoin for, you know, a 3% markup, but no KYC. And you can pay with these different methods or I'll buy Bitcoin from you for a 3% markup using one of these payment methods and no KYC. So it's like people actually live and you'll actually chat back and forth with the individual that you make a deal with. So it's kind of like a live marketplace. Um, so just, just giving you a heads up of kind of how to think of it. It's just like a live market where you are going to be talking to people. And so a lot of this is reasonably self-explanatory. So I want to, we could swap. And basically I think that converts lightning Bitcoin into on-chain Bitcoin. I've not done a swap yet, so sorry, but it doesn't seem like many people do swaps. So not, not that big of a deal, but I want to buy Bitcoin or I want to sell Bitcoin and then any sort of currency that we're using. So for my particular case, I'd use USD and then my pay with methods. So whether I want to use Cash App or Zelle or Strike or so on. So a bunch of different payment options in here. And so, yeah, so first I'm going to go ahead and buy some Bitcoin. And then later on in the video, we'll go ahead and sell some Bitcoin. So you can see both buying and selling Bitcoin. All right. So here's the offers for buying you in US, USD here. And so I've got Strike or Cash App basically is my two different options for buying Bitcoin. And you can see the robot selling it. And again, it, you, we don't know who they are. It's non-KYC type of thing. Uh, they're the seller. The amounts they're willing to sell right here, of course, the currency, payment method, expiration. So this is basically how long this offer has been on the website. Each one starts with 24 hours, so you can see that. Uh, timer is basically how long they have to reply to you once you accept their offer. And you'll see that in a few minutes. Uh, sats now. I'm not exactly sure what that means. So I'm sorry about that. Here's our price that we'd be paying with the 3.5% premium there. So that's how they get that price. And then the bond. So that's the amount of money we have to lock up when we enter this offer, for example. So we'll go ahead and we'll just go with this one because I'll use strike. And so it popped open the offer, so the amount and all the stuff we just looked at. So I'm just going to buy, you know, $100 worth of Bitcoin. And I'll go ahead and take order. And then by taking this order, you risk wasting your time. If the maker does not proceed in time, you'll be compensated in Satoshis for 50% of the maker bond. All right, sounds fine. 
And then it says to make sure you back up your robot token, which I've already done over in Notepad over here. And that's in case like maybe the internet goes out or something like that and you need to log back in to get into this order. So you wanna back that up. And so I'll do done. All right, so here we go. So I need to lock up 10,782 sets to take the order. All right, so this is a lightning invoice right here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and copy it to my clipboard and then I'm gonna come over to Albi and I'm gonna go ahead and pay that invoice. And okay, so it's about $2.90 and it, this payment will freeze in your wallet. Check on the website if it was successful. It will automatically return unless you cheat or cancel unilaterally. Payment reference, blah, blah, blah. All right, now pay now. And I heard a dinging noise, so I'm gonna come back over here. And so here we go, there is my information. So before letting you send 100 USD, we want to make sure you're able to receive the Bitcoin. So I could go ahead and receive it on the Lightning Network, or I could ask for on-chain Bitcoin if I want to. So two different options here. And note there are some fees if you go with on-chain Bitcoin, so just make note of that if you're going on-chain. I'm gonna do Lightning, and it tells me right here that I need to submit an invoice for this amount of sets. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that amount of sets, or I guess I can hit that copy button here. Go back over to my Albi wallet. And this time I want to receive Bitcoin. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my amount of Satoshis that I wanna receive. So $96.44 worth. And it's not $100 worth because of that premium that I'm paying for it. And I'm just gonna call this RS for RoboSats and create invoice. And then I'm gonna go ahead and copy that invoice come back over to RoboSats and paste it in there and submit. And now it is connecting me to the seller. So I'm waiting for them to come into the chat room here and then we'll chit chat with each other and I'll send him a hundred bucks and he'll send me a hundred dollars or $96 worth of Bitcoin. Alrighty, so they hopped in real quick. So here we go, hello. So see, it's just like, you know, a bazaar. You're talking to somebody in real life, in real time and you're making a deal. All right, so he gave me his strike username right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and send $100 to that username. So let me load up my strike mobile app and I'm gonna go ahead and tap on pay here and send via username and look for their username. And I'm gonna add a note. I'm just gonna type RS for RoboSats, but kind of keep it cryptic in case, you know, strike is watching for RoboSats wording. And then I'll go ahead and tap over Send them $100 next and confirm and okay. And now I'm gonna click confirm 100 USD sent. Confirming that you sent 100 USD will allow the peer to finalize the trade. All right, confirm. And so he said, thanks received. Have a great day. All right, so now it's attempting to make the lightning payment and there we go. So trade finished successfully. So let me come back over to my Albi wallet and hopefully I've got some more Bitcoin in there. There we go. So $160 worth of Bitcoin now. And we can see incoming 358,408 sats. So my $96.44 just came in. So there we go. That easy to buy some Bitcoin, non-KYC. Now, how about selling? Let me say, what do you think, Robo sats? Five or yeah, five stars. All right, cool. So that's buying. And then let's come back over here and try and sell some Bitcoin real quick. So this time I want to sell. And so these people are wanting to buy Bitcoin with these various methods. So we got Cash App here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this first Cash App off offer here. So we'll click on that. And I'll go ahead and do, we'll just do $50 and take order. And sounds fine. And yep, I already, we're, I'm using the same robot as last time, so I still have my phrase copied down, so I'll click done. All right, so you are selling Bitcoin. Okay, sounds good. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy to clipboard and go to my Albi wallet. And I want to go ahead and send and pay this invoice, $1.48, pay now. And I heard a little dinging noise, so I come back over here. And now I need to go ahead and lock up my entire $50 worth of Bitcoin that I'll send once they send the money over. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this clipboard. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go to my 
Albi wallet again. And this time I'm gonna go ahead and send and continue. So there we go, my $50-ish worth of Bitcoin. But of course there's the premium, so I'm basically making like 59 cents, I think. So we'll go ahead and pay now. And I heard the ding again. So here I am, your trade collateral is locked. And now I'm waiting on the buyer to pay their lightning invoice and then that chat room will open up. So hopefully they don't take too long and I can finish this video today. All right, so this person is taking too long and I have stuff to do tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new robot and take somebody else's order and hopefully that one's faster. So this is actually a good example of how you can create a new robot. So we'll, let's go over to robot here and I'm gonna go ahead and add a new robot and it's gonna build my new robot. So I've got Scraggly Bronchi 501, cool. And so there we go. And then I'm gonna come over to offers and I want to go ahead and sell Bitcoin. And I'm gonna take this one right here. I see that this person is active. So that's one thing to note. We have this active circle versus inactive. So if you're trying to do it quick, it's probably easiest to go with the, someone that's active. So I'll go through this method here and I'll go ahead and take the order. Let me copy down this robot's number and done. All right, so now I need to go ahead and pay this invoice. And I'm actually gonna be using Moon Wallet this time because I'm kind of out of funds in my Albi wallet because they're locked up in that other order. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and send and Moon Wallet. And so this is kind of a good example. You get to see both Albi and Moon Wallet. So there's my transaction, network fee, all that stuff. So I'll go ahead and do send. And so that is done. Now I need to go ahead and lock, lock up my sats as collateral. So again, I'll do send, scan the QR code and go ahead and send it. And there we go. And now we're back where we were with the other person. We're just waiting on this individual here to go ahead and pay their invoice. And then we can go ahead and start talking and coordinating payment and all that other stuff. All right, so they popped in here and I've started talking with them and we'll arrange payment and then they'll receive their Bitcoin. And there we go. You receive $100 from blah, blah, blah. So I'll go ahead and click on done there. And then over here, I'll let them know that I received it. And right here, I have the option now to confirm 100 USD received. So I'll go ahead and click on that and then confirm that I received it. And poof, trade finished successfully. And so that's all there is to it when it comes to selling your Bitcoin non-KYC. So pretty awesome stuff. Let me switch back over to my other robot now in case my other order is open and orders. And so that one is still locked up. But anyway, I wanted to come down here to create real quick and kind of explain this to you as well. So it's pretty self-explanatory if you know you understand buying and selling as it is right now. But there are a couple options and basically this toggle right here to enable advanced options. So this is a way you could go ahead and change your amount you're willing to buy or sell. So right now I'm on sell, but you could also do buy. And so let's say I wanted to buy, you know, 100 to $250 worth of Bitcoin and fiat payment method. So we do cash app and you could add, you know, strike and whatever else is relevant to you. Maybe Zell. All right, premium over market, you know, usually around three to 5% is about average. Um, at least at this point in time, maybe it'll change in the future, but you could look, you know, just browse the website and see what people are charging. Uh, public duration, so how long you would leave that up. So 24 hours is standard. Escrow invoice timer, three hours is standard. And then fidelity bond size, 3% is standard. And then you would just submit and then your buy order would be out there on the marketplace and somebody could come claim it. And alternatively, you could do the sell thing and same type of concept. So then you'd have those orders live and you'd go th through the same process as the orders that I just did live on video. And then just to close this video out, you could come over here to settings and say so you could change the language, you could change the dark mode if you want to, um, you could change the window size if you want to and so on. So some simple little settings. And then there's more over here. We got RoboSats information, learn RoboSats, community and public support, coordinator summary, 
and stats for nerds. So you can check those out if you're on the website, but I'm not going to go into them on the video because there's nothing super significant to really show you. And that pretty much covers it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And or please check out thebtccourse.com. It is a website that has free Bitcoin related training on it. It's just my way to try and help out fellow Bitcoin plebs on their journey for you know self custody and independence and all that other good stuff. And that's all I have to say about that. Hope you have a great rest of the day.